We're back on Buckeye Football Weekly. I'm Jeff Hogan alongside head coach Jim Tressel. And coach, as we bring you in, you're back home for the first time in just about a month. That's a long time off and certainly the challenge right in front of you there in Ohio Stadium against Wisconsin. Well, it was an exciting time to be back home, all the students back on campus and people were riled up and uh, they were excited as the ball game began. Yeah, Wisconsin comes out and, and you know exactly from what you've seen on tape what kind of team they're going to be. Uh, they haven't changed anything. No, they haven't. They're going to run the ball and do a good job on their possession passing and they're going to play aggressive defense, and, and uh, we needed to play one of those perfect games to have a chance to, to get it done against them. We'll take fans out to the horseshoe, 105,090, the fifth largest crowd ever in Ohio Stadium as the Buckeyes get set to get it on against Wisconsin here. Craig Krems a familiar face back. Yeah, Craig was our honorary captain and talked to the guys uh, morning of the game, and uh, he's, he's enjoying his time in the, in the NFL. There's some guys coming after it, A.J. Hawk, and and uh, Bobby Carpenter and David Patterson uh, playing hard. Good job penetrating Quinn Pitcock there. And Nate Sally was up in the hole with Mike Kudla. Anthony Davis with the carry both times there. And, and certainly the defense looking up to the challenge early on in this game. They really did. They did a good job and, and seized the field position of the game. And uh, they're swarming to the ball is Dante Whitner and, and uh, Ashton Yabodi. And, We've got the field position edge, and now we have a chance to make a big play, and we did just that. Good job blocking on the punt return, and, and uh, Ted Ginn made the rest of it happen, and, and that was huge. Great to see Teddy do that, and, and uh, great to have the Buckeyes on the scoreboard. Yeah, for the folks at home, when seven gets loose, that's world-class speed. Don't that's mess right. with it. That's right. He's, uh, he's going to be a good one. He's out there for a 7-0 lead with Ohio State. And again, back they come, bread and butter. And uh, Jay Richardson, yeah. heck of a job there. And Jay's coming along every day. And uh, here we're putting a little bit of pressure on him. They've got a screen, and we've got it covered. And the quarterback ends up having to eat it because he can't throw it down the field. And uh, good job by our defense. Great coverage sack there. Bruce Buck, I loved it. John Stocko tackled for a loss of two. Justin Zwick is going to take off here as well and uh, come up with a big plus game. Good job here on this particular play and stepping up and getting some yards. I think we had a penalty which pushed us back a little bit uh, at some point during the play. Uh, here we are coming. Lydell Ross doing a good job running up there. I thought we got a little bit better with the run game today uh, with the consistency. Here we are throwing it out there. Santonio San Holmes does a good job getting another first down, and we're moving down there, and this is exactly what we needed to do, and this is a first down pass, and Roy Hall's going to be down to the 23-yard line, and second and three maybe, unfortunately. We turn it over, and you know, we needed to capitalize every time we had the chance to score, and, and that one really hurt us. Wisconsin back on offense, and that D just keeps coming. A flag on the play there, but you decline it and take the play as John Stocko is sacked for a loss of six. Mike Kudla was on that hit, and here we came with the old-fashioned Statue of Liberty play, and, and Antonio Pittman doing a great job, the line leading him down the field, and, and uh, a heck of a job getting a little bit of a field position change there, and, and uh, we ended up kicking it through for the field goal. Again, we need to get down and make some touchdowns against Wisconsin. You better score seven when you have a chance. Mike Nugent with a kick of 42 yards, and Ohio State with a 10 to nothing lead. Nugent ties the all-time career field goals made record, one that we'll talk about a little bit later. Here, uh, our kick return coverage uh, kind of let it loose, and Mike Nugent was there, uh, made the stop, and... You like it when he does everything, but you don't want him well, to tackle that's him. that's right, that's right, and Anthony Davis, uh, he's a heck of a running back, and, and you can't give him a little spark and a little hope, and that kickoff return gave them a little hope. Here you see Brandon Joe catching a little route to the to the boundary there, and, and uh, move forward toward a first down and we come back to San Antonio Holmes did a nice job on the on the little comeback route pick up of nine for Joe pick up of 16 for Roy Hall down the sidelines there and we go back after that drive stalls to Wisconsin's offense and Stocko throwing the ball that's maybe a point that uh, everybody knows they're going <coughs> to run it they threw it effectively they really did uh, their guy was 14 for 25 and a couple big touchdown throws big plays there at the uh, uh, down near the goal line and they to their credit, they made, some, they made some good catches. I think this may be one of them right here. Good job. The kid came up with the ball, and, and uh, you know, that's how you end up winning games is, is uh, you make the plays, and your opponent doesn't. Nine-yard touchdown, Darren Charles there, and all of a sudden, Wisconsin 14-10 to 10 on top of Ohio State. So looking for a spark before halftime, and again, those special teams and those kick returns can do it for you. You know, our kick and punt returns, I think, are getting better, and, and here we threw a little screen pass, and Lydell Ross did a great job of breaking a tackle, and coming up with a 
12 yard gain to start the drive and give us a chance to to move in for a chip shot for Nuge, uh, yeah. 56 yarder. Yeah. And uh, you know that was good momentum for us going in at, at halftime to pull it within a point and and because we knew we were in for one of those heavyweight brawls. It was going to take four quarters and every point was going to be crucial and those three were important. Yeah, Mike Nugent, uh, although it would end up to be bittersweet, he does get the record with that field goal there. Uh, they only gave him 55 yards. I, th I think they uh, they left a little bit shy of that 56 yard, which would have been an Ohio Stadium record uh, for Ohio State, but 60 field goals in his career is certainly uh, a mainstay on this club. Uh, there's no doubt. You know, Mike Nugent is a leader. He's a captain. He's a great kicker. You saw he's a good tackler as well. Whatever you want Mike Nugent to do, he'll do and and uh, it's exciting having him be a part of this Buckeye family. Doing some different things on offense as well uh, when you come out. I mean, you have to add things to the playbook each week. We saw the Statue of Liberty. We saw uh, a pass out of the backfield to a fullback, things like that. Yeah, you know, I think you have to keep changing around, especially with, you know, someone like Wisconsin who, uh, you know, they've faced so many things. They've faced you for X number of years in a row, and those kids, same kids have been playing for them. They're vets. I mean, there were, I think, seven or so seniors, and two or three juniors on that defense. You know, we felt like we had to move the ball around a little bit, and, and uh, you know, I thought we did a decent job of it the first half. Didn't get that done the second half. Momentum heading into the break, 14-13, Wisconsin on top. We're back with second half highlights right after this. We're back with second half highlights here on Buckeye Football Weekly, and Coach, you go into the break, 14-13, uh, a little, mo little bit of momentum there from the Mike Nugent kick. Um, you come back out, and obviously by the way things turned out in the second half, the momentum did not stay in that direction, uh, and that feeling again of the field tipping and the field position, time of possession, it all started going one way. It really did. They did a good job of keeping the ball and, and making some pass plays to keep drives alive, and we didn't convert on some third downs that we needed to do that, and and then, then we made the big mistake. And yet it, it was still until eight minutes to go in the game, yeah. you know, anyone's game within four points. And, uh, you know, still battling hard against each other, both teams playing hard. And, and uh, we made the mistake, and that's why we came up short. We'll, we'll get back out for that big battle in the horseshoe, Ohio State and Wisconsin, second half right now. And Anthony Davis starts things off with a 13-yard run here and uh, a play that's going to be reviewed. Uh, an inadvertent whistle, you can't stop that on replay I guess well that was interesting I, I didn't know that whistles were part of replays I'm sure those people in the booth couldn't hear the whistle but you know whatever and you got to get them stopped and uh, you know unfortunately uh, uh, we let him get down closer to the goal line that's a big hit by AJ Hawk there and AJ played a well of the game as he always does and uh, you know we just we just kept coming after him and put a little pressure on the quarterback here and he only gained a yard or two and uh, we forced them to go up top for the field goal and again to their credit you know they banged home the special teams points so that's a 17 to 13 lead with the field goal through the uprights there by mike allen 26 yards that's a 13 play six minute drive so wisconsin that that time of possession starting to go in their favor as well well and we had a little sack there and and uh you know didn't do a good job with field position ended up having to punt the football and, and you know we talked uh we talked all week long that you know we've got to do a good job of covering punts, and Sergio Welsh did a, a great job at That's that a, moment. Absolutely a great job stopping Jim Leonard in his tracks there on the punt. Back to Anthony Davis on the ground. Good job there, Bobby Carpenter and Dante Whitner up there, and, and uh, they did a good job getting after him. And uh, here comes Wisconsin on the pass and threw it across, and we made the play, and now they're punting it back to us. That's a great third and nine open field tackle after a pickup of just three, so the Bucks will get the ball back. And then a screen's Antonio Pittman, and this is hitting the right man. Well, I'll tell you what, Antonio can go with the football and, and uh, did a good job there, and he's going to be a good back. You know, we've said that, and I think the compliment of he and Lydell as time goes on, and Brandon Joe sprinkled in there a little bit, is, is going to serve us well. Back to the punt game here, and the aforementioned Antonio Holmes muffing this punt. Tough ball to catch. Really was. It was a hard one. It was one of those dying punts, and... and uh, you know, you can't make the play uh, that can turn around the game. And, and uh, you know, we turned it over, and, and they, they just kept slamming it up in there. And, and uh, they come up on third down. Hopefully, we could hold them to a field goal. But the guy made a, a tremendous catch and tremendous throw. And now, all of a sudden, instead of a seven-point game, which a field goal would have been, right. uh, you know, it's an 11-point game. And, and uh, we're, we're a ways behind here. Zwick on the keep for a pickup of seven, and Justin Zwick is going to drop back again. It's a first and ten play, and he's going to lose a few yards here. 
Yeah, you know, that's the one thing we've, we've got to eliminate minus yard plays against them because they're so hard to make up on. Uh, you need to try to stay away from it. We ended up having to punt, and here we are playing on defense. And one thing about it is our kids kept scrapping. They kept going, and, and uh, you know, you can't, you can't question their effort. There you see Joel Penton making a play on the quarterback draw, and, and uh, you know, they, they, kept, they kept believing. Loss of one on the play there, and Davis, once again, he's going to get clobbered here by Nate Sally uh, after a pickup of just three yards. Well, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm proud of the way our guys kept going at it. We didn't, we didn't have enough today, and, and uh, we have to learn from it and understand we can't make some of those errors we did, and we have to make some of the plays that Wisconsin made, and that's why they're in first place. You come back with a couple of positive plays here, uh, but this is late, and really the, the offense uh, to this point They'll be down a little bit and wanting to gain a little confidence. Well, you know, you just you just want to keep trying to get better, and there were 30-some seconds left on the clock, so you might as well use it to get better. And, uh, you know, we're, we've got to pick up, and we've got to get ready to go to Iowa because everyone knows how tough a place that is to go. Yeah, too early in the season uh, for a crossroads for any team, really, but these guys are used to battling for titles deep into the season. This will be a test for them. Well, there's no question, you know, and, you hope the most important battle that a guy has is to become the best player he can be and the best team we can be. And right now at three and two, the best team we can become is four and two. And uh, that's what the focus has to be. When you go back and look at the running backs and what they did, 11 yards for, for 70, 11 carries for 78 yards or so. I mean, that's a, that's a seven yard uh, per carry clip. I mean, that's what you want out of your backs. Well, you know, I think we made a, you know, a, a small step you know in that area wasn't enough the the makeup of the game the makeup of our opponent didn't allow us to you know to run it a whole bunch uh, but I thought when we did we did it better than we have been and that's something to build on and we'll hear from one of those backs Lydell Ross we spoke to him briefly just a little bit earlier in the season